Hello there and uh, welcome to this little quick tip. Um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about this new little technique that I found um, that relates to hard surface modeling. Um, so normally whenever you're doing any hard surface modeling you have to do a lot of creasing uh, via edge loops, uh, inserting edge loops. So normally what you do is you just uh, do this sort of thing and I've done this for years basically like just that technique right there and Blender has not had the Ngon tools well B-Mesh is what it's called now but um for years and I had been so ingrained in it that I didn't even realize that there's this one technique that you can use that you couldn't be able to use that you weren't able to use uh, for all that time that Blender didn't have this tool. So the tool is bevel and usually like I, I didn't use it for a long time and usually you just think oh it's bevel it's for like creating just little you know edges right there but what I didn't realize is that you can turn up the segments a little bit and you can get exactly what I just did the whole inserting edge loop thing only it's more precise and you can adjust how sharp the crease is afterwards so instead of having to readjust this and like having to edge slide and everything you can just put it right in and you're good to go you don't even have to modify it at all um, but there's other app it's not just with single edges either you can you know if you have like a like this part it's rolling across here you can insert one right there and you can even control how tight you want that to be and even how many segments that are on there and it just creates this amazing hard surface look like I I could not get this sort of thing even if I wanted to with inserting edge loops because it's so precise and it's so clean to make and it doesn't take any time either which is like something that I just found amazing and I hope that you'll enjoy it too but there is one more thing that I want to show you um, and that is I this has happened to me I don't know how many times uh, but like you go in to make a like an inset on your hard surface mesh so you have like a circle type of thing and maybe you do two sphere to make it circular and you um, go to extrude it and you forget because either you're in like low poly mode and you just forget to insert it but usually what you do is you extrude scale down first and in inset then extrude down but sometimes I forget I just go like that and I have to redo the entire thing I have to delete that face and have to do all that junk but now what you can do is you can just select this edge hit bevel control B again and you're good to go. You don't even have to mess with it. You don't have to do anything over again. You can tighten it up as, as much as you want to. It's just amazing and you don't even have to select the edges if you have like a singular face like this. You can hit control B and just scale it out a little bit and you have a nice clean inset into your heart surface. And I just think this is so cool just that you can do this now. And I hadn't known about it for such a long time, but, um, yeah, I hope you, uh, found this useful and I hope you have some fun making some hard surface stuff in Blender. Uh, see you later.